Hi zoologists, welcome to day two of your animal project. So hopefully yesterday you came up with an animal that you wanted to study and you drew it on your poster and you label all of its structures or parts. So I went back and added some of the structures that I researched on a peacock. So they have legs and a beak just like the birds we studied and they have eyes and they have a head. I also noticed that they have feathers but when I did some research, there were some special things on their feathers called eye spots that you can see right there. So I labeled the eye spot. And then also on the top of the head, it's called a crest, and it has a bunch of other special feathers at the very top of that male peacock's head. So that's something else I learned, that the male peacocks are the colorful ones and the females are all brown and neutral. So they have an easier time hiding from predators than the males because they are so colorful. Today, you're going to research the things that your animal does. So things that they do to stay safe, um, things that they like to eat. So their behaviors, the things that they do. So I went on to Epic and I found two peacock books and I read them and I wrote down some behaviors. So you can choose three behaviors to write down. One, two, three. I decided to write down four. So it's up to you. It's your project. So the first thing I learned is that peacocks roost. So they spend most of their time up in a tree and that keeps them safe from predators because they're not really good at protecting themselves. All they have is their beak. And there are some big predators, even dogs that try to attack them. And instead of trying to fight back, they go into a tree and roost. And that's where they also sleep. I also learned that the males tail is down and then they fan it out when they see a female peacock to try to attract her and say, hey, come over here, look at me. I look so fancy. They lay eggs, just like the birds we studied at school, and they eat insects, seeds, leaves, berries, flowers, and some small animals too, like small rodents or frogs, if they can find them. But usually they eat insects and seeds and berries. So today, spend some time either going on Epic or maybe finding books on Google to learn about what your animal does. How do they behave? And you can write behaviors. And then I didn't write sentences. I just wrote a word or two. A few of them are sentences, but these are kind of like taking notes. And then I talked about their behaviors to you. So I hope that helps scientists and I will see you tomorrow for day three of our zoologist project. Bye everyone.